Don't yell, mama. Uh, my daughter and son came home saying that this man grabbed him and choked him. I came around her and asked him, I said, why did you put your hands on my son? He said, oh, he threw some paper. I said, and, and I told him to pick it up. He said my son didn't pick it up. He defined him, so that's why he did it. Instead of calling him home, he said, but y'all don't even live here. It doesn't matter where we live. You don't have the right to grab and choke that's somebody's wife. son. That's not his wife. No, his wife is young. Nobody. So I have a problem with that. My son is seven years old. You don't have the right to grab him, choke him behind no paper that he threw. What you should have done, because we have been living here for years, so you know that my house is a door in between yours. You could have came to me. Don't put your hands on my son. Uh, uh, I didn't. He can't prove to me that my son let her. But it doesn't matter if he did or didn't. It doesn't give him the right to put his hands on it. Because he don't. You don't are loud. Because he don't. This don't, man just asked my mama why does this white man not have the um? Why would you ask me um? Why don't I teach him? You don't know what I teach him. And you don't, whatever you teach your kids don't mean that they go by your rules when they're not in your sight. Because you just pissed me off telling me what I teach my kids and what I don't. If you keep yelling at me, you can piss me off. I'm going to stop you too. Okay, you're not, okay? Let them shoot that. We are on live. Don't grab her. Don't grab her. You're not grab her. Come on, you're not grab her. You're not grab her. Hey, Shalom Israel, Most High Christ Bless. This 10 Minutes of Truth with Captain Hoshaya. Hey, look, hey, I know a lot of y'all been uh, seeing about uh, this uh, the, the Fort Worth cop and the wrongful arrest of the black family. Basically, what had happened, uh, the white man, this uh, the white guy uh, that's in the video, uh, not the police officer, he choked out this black woman's son, and she called the police, and her and her two daughters end up going to jail. You know what I'm saying? And uh, everybody's saying that 
it's a wrongful arrest. And look, I'm, 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 I want to go through some scriptures, y'all. I want to go through some scriptures. Hey, man, it's really time for our people to wake up because, believe it or not, y'all love your enemies. <laughs> hey, y'all love y'all enemies, man. Look, uh, for some reason, y'all always saying, well, not all white people the same. All of them the same. How the hell you call the police for the disturbance of your son being choked out? Your son being choked out by a racist white cop and you end up going to jail. It's time for y'all to wake up, man, Israel. Now, look, let's go to Ecclesiastes chapter 12 real quick, verse 10. It says, never trust thy enemy, for it's like Aaron Rusty, so is his wickedness. The problem with our people, man, we trust our enemies, man. We trust our enemies. I want to go to Lamentation chapter 4. We always looking for, uh, we look for the other nations to solve the problem in our communities. We should be policing ourselves. We should have our own businesses. You know what I'm saying? But the reason why we in these conditions that we're in because we do not keep the commandments of God. That's why our enemy is ruling over us. This Lamentation chapter 4 verse 17. It says for us, our eyes is yet fell for our vain help. And our watching, we have watched for a nation that could not save us. We, we looking for these other nations to help us, y'all. They ain't going to help us. Especially the Edomites. The Edomites, these so-called white people, they are not going to help us, y'all. It say they hunt our steps. The same people you looking for to help you, they hunt our steps. It said we cannot go in our streets. Our end is near. Our days are fulfilled. For our end is come. We can't even walk in our streets just like with Mike Brown. Just like with uh, Tamir Rice. Just like with Freddie Gray. You know what I'm saying? Just like with uh, Kajin Powell. You know what I'm saying? They hunt our steps. I want to go to uh, Maccabees real quick. But the, but, but the worst part about this is that y'all, a lot of our people, you want to be like them. You want to be just like your oppressor. And the, and the scriptures talk about this. Uh, I'm going to go to Maccabees real quick. Second Maccabees chapter 4. The same people that hate you, the same people you go and ask for help for, the same people that keep constantly persecuting you, and ain't nothing going to change until our people wake up and keep the commandments of God. This is 2 Maccabees chapter 4, verse uh, 15. It's saying, not said by the honors of their fathers, but like in the glory of the Grecians, best of all. Our people, you like the glory of the white man, best of all. Why uh, it distinctly put Grecians here? Because that was the first major Edomite empire. To rule the world. That was the first major uh, uh, major Edomite empire to rule the world. The Grecians. It said not sent by the honors of their fathers. But liking the glory of the Grecians best of all. Also Alexander the Greek. Uh, I think he united uh, the majority of, uh, uh, of uh, Esau together. But look let me read on. It said by reason whereof so a calamity came upon them. Just like now. Chris was coming up. I guarantee you this same family, this same family is going to celebrate this, uh, it's going to celebrate this Christmas holiday. This same family, watch. Why? Because they don't say by the honors of their father, but like the glory of the Greece is best of all. We just celebrated Feast of Dedication on Hanukkah, which is eight days, which was ordained by us in the Bible to keep. But... After our people uh, constantly go through this oppression, they constantly celebrate their Thanksgiving, celebrate their Fourth of July, celebrate uh, their Christmas, their Easter's, their Thanksgiving. I I'm telling you, man, it's time for y'all to wake up. It's, so since you like the glory of the Grecians, since y'all like the, since you love your oppressor so much, the scriptures say, by reason of sore calamity came upon them. That's why the calamity is constantly coming upon y'all. Yeah, you being locked up justly, unjustly. You being killed unjustly. All type of un, all type of injustices is happened to you. It said for they had them to be their enemies and avengers. The same people that's your enemy, you want vengeance from. You want vengeance from instead of waking up, keeping the commandments of God, asking the Most High to get the vengeance for you. Whose customs they follow so earnestly. All their customs, you follow their customs so earnestly. Mike, look, look, this same family might got a Christmas tree up in the house right now. They still going to celebrate Christmas after this probably. And unto whom they desire to be like in all things. That's why you see uh, women, uh, a majority of our sisters with blonde hair in their head. 
You see how men wearing skinny jeans? Man, eat a mice. You don't white folks used to do that. But you know what? Me speaking like this is racism. Me speaking like this, telling the truth, is racism. Y'all wants to be like these people in, in all things. You want to celebrate their holidays, their tradition, their customs. You want to eat what they eat. You want to dress the way they dress. You want their, your hair to be like the way their hair is. It's time for our people to wake up and repent and keep the commandments of God, man. Let's go to Luke real quick. Luke. Now, a lot of y'all ain't going to understand Luke. Let's go to Luke chapter 18. Because you don't understand Christ. Because you're not in the truth. You ain't keeping the commandments. Uh, this is uh, Luke chapter 18, verse 1. And he spake a parable unto them to this end that men ought to always pray and not to faint. Now, look, a lot of y'all ain't going to understand this, what he's telling us to pray for and not to stop praying for. He said this is a parable. It hey, it ain't meant for everybody to get it. Let's go, let's go to uh, King James real quick. A lot of y'all is not going to get this, and I'm going to show you why. Uh, let me see. Matthew chapter 13. A lot of you ain't going to get this. You're going to say I'm twisting scriptures. And Christ said you ain't going to get it. I'm going to read this parable. Okay, this is Matthew chapter 13, verse uh, 10. And the disciple came and said unto him, Why speakest thou unto them in parables? And he answered and said unto them, Because it is given unto you to know the mysteries of the kingdom of God. But to them it is not given. Everybody, it ain't given to everybody to know the mysteries of the kingdom of God. Now let's go back to Luke 18. So if you don't get it, it ain't given to you to know. Luke 18 verse 1. And he spake a parable to them to this end that men ought to always pray and not to faint. Saying, there is a city in a, 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 there was in a city a judge which feared not God, neither regarded man. And there was a widow in that city, and she came unto him, saying, Avenge me of my adversaries. So this is a parable, a parable illustrated story. This woman went to an unjust judge and said, Look, and avenge me of my adversaries. Verse 4. And when he would not for a while, but afterward, he said within himself, Though I fear not God, nor regard man, yet because this widow troubled me, I will avenge her. He said, Look, just because she troubling me, because she constantly coming to me, I'm going to avenge her. Lest by her continuing coming, she weary me. Lest she keep coming and then she make me tired and she wear me out. Verse 6, and the Lord said, hear what the unjust judge said. And shall not God avenge his own elect, which cry day and night unto him, though he bear long with them? God said, look, we're supposed to cry, cry day and night to him. What are we supposed to be crying about? In verse 1, it says that men ought to always pray and not to faint. What are we praying for? Vengeance. Verse 8 going to tell you that. I tell you, I tell you that he will avenge them speedily. We're supposed to be crying to the Most High day and night. Day and night. Nevertheless, when the Son of Man come, shall he find faith on earth. Man, you're supposed to be crying to the Most High day and night to get up out of these conditions and that we get, uh, that he avenge us of what our adversaries have done to us. God is a just God. Time for our people to wake up, but a lot of y'all ain't going to understand that prayer. But yeah, you're supposed to pray for vengeance. We ain't telling you to go out here and get it, but you're supposed to pray for it. It's time for y'all to wake the hell up and repent and keep the commandments of God. For real. All this stuff keep happening to us. Go to Leviticus chapter 26. Because you refuse to keep the commandments of God. Y'all in the midst of idolatry. Leviticus chapter 26 verse 14. But if you will not hearken unto me and would not do all these commandments. And if you shall despise my statutes. Or if your soul abhor my judgments. So that you will not do all my commandments. But that ye break my covenant. God said if we break his covenant I'm going to jump down to 17. And I will set my face against you. And ye shall be slain before your enemies. Just like Mike Brown. Slain before your enemies. Just like uh, Tamir Rice. Slain before uh, his enemies. Uh, Trayvon Martin. Slain before uh, our enemies. They that hate you shall reign over you. It's quite simple. I mean, look. If you don't understand who are uh, reigning over us right here in this video. It's those that hate us that's ruling over us. This woman sat up here and called the police. This woman called the police because her son uh, got choked out by this white man. And look at them. They end up getting arrested. They end up getting tased. 
Man, it's time for our people to wake up, repent, and keep the commandments of God. Verse 17. And I will set my face against you, and you shall be slain before your enemies. They that hate you shall reign over you, and you shall flee when none pursue it. And it's going to keep happening. It's going to keep happening until our people wake up and acknowledge what they've done to the most. High. Let's go to Hosea 5 and 15. Hosea chapter 5 verse 15. And I will go and return to my place till they acknowledge their offense. It's time for you, uh, you uh, so-called Negroes and Hispanics to wake up. You offended the most high God. You need to acknowledge your offense. Talking about you blessed. You ain't blessed. And seek my face in their affliction, they will seek me early. This going through, y'all, you don't know why people keep going through all this? Because it's time for y'all to seek the most high. It's time for y'all to uh, cry to the most high day and night unto him. For real. For vengeance. But you got to wake up, repent, and keep the commandments, man. You got to come back to the covenant. Let's go to 1 Kings chapter 8. 1 Kings chapter 8. Verse 46. These people hate you, man. Uh, but but you know what? Hey, a lot of y'all still going to celebrate Christmas. You still, you still going to celebrate New Year's. New Year's come from, uh, it's, it's a Roman, uh, a Roman idol, uh, Janice. A Roman idol named Janice, meaning uh, the so-called God of beginnings. 1 Kings chapter 8, verse 46. It said, if they sin against thee, for there is no man that sinned not, and thou be angry with them, and deliver them to the enemy, so that they carry them away captive unto the land of the enemy far and near. Yet, if they bethink themselves, we got to remember who we are. In the land, whether they were carried captives, you got to remember who you are in the land that you carry captive at. And repent. You got to come back to the law, statutes, and commandments of the Most High. And make some supplication unto thee in the land of them that carry them captive, saying, We have sinned. We have done perversely. We have committed wickedness. And so return unto the Lord. I mean, return unto thee with all their heart and with all their soul in the land of their enemies. So we got to keep the commandments in the land of our enemies. Which led them away captive. And pray unto thee towards their land. Which thou gavest unto their fathers. The city which thou hast chosen. And the house which I have built for thy name. Then thou. Their, then heard thou their prayer and their supplication in heaven. Thy dwelling place and maintain their cause. The most I say I'm going to hear your prayers. But you got to remember who you are. Repent. You got to repent as an Israelite. And forgive thy people. That have sinned against thee. And all their transgression when they have transgressed against thee. And give them compassion before them who carried them captive. That they may have compassion on them. Because these people don't got no compassion on us. They will murk you in a heartbeat. And you know what? Hey, I got to go back to some real quick. I'm going to go to Tobit. Because you got a lot of Israelite groups out here talking about, Oh, we're the land out of captivity. We can't keep the commandments. I'm going to show you some real quick. That's just an excuse just to keep sinning. And it's time to wake the hell up. Tobit chapter 3, verse 3. It said, Confess him before the Gentiles, ye children of Israel, for he have scattered us among them. Dur, declare his greatness, and restore him before all the living. For he is our Lord, and he is the God of our Father forever. And he shall scourge us for our iniquities, and will have mercy again, and will gather us out of all nations, among whom he have scattered us. If you turn to him with your whole heart, and with your whole mind, and deal uprightly before him, then will he turn unto you, and will not hide his face from you. Therefore, see what he will do with you, and confess him with your mouth, and praise the Lord of might, and extol the everlasting king in the land of my captivity do I praise him and declare his might and majesty to a sinful nation. You see that in the land of my captivity. Toby said, in the land of my captivity, I praise him. In the land of uh, my captivity, I'm going to deal uprightly and come to him with a whole heart and whole mind. In the land of my captivity, do I praise him and declare his might and majesty to a sinful nation. Oh, ye sinners, turn and do justice before him. Who can tell if he will accept you and have mercy on you? So look, y'all, with that right there, y'all, hey, this 10 minutes of truth with Captain Oshaya. Hey, just seeing this video right here, man, hey, it pisses me off, man. You know what I'm saying? Our people are going to constantly go through this stuff right here until they repent 
and keep the commandments of God. Hey, y'all got to be looking out, man. They starting to block certain videos that I put up on the internet. You know what I'm saying? Hey, uh, this crazy, y'all. They called the police because this white man choked out a seven-year-old little boy. And guess what? They going to jail. Man, look, man, it's time for y'all to wake the hell up and, and repent, man. For real. With that, y'all, say shalom. Most high Christ bless. I'm Elder Nathaniel, Israel United in Christ. YouTube likes to shut our channels down, as some of you have noticed, <laughs> ever so often. Subscribing to join IUIC will assure you will always stay connected to our YouTube accounts. We want to do our best to make sure this truth gets up. Please click and join our subscriber YouTube channel called Join IUIC to stay linked to all of our videos. So again, please make sure you subscribe to this Join IUIC channel to get your latest updates on all our YouTube channels. Shalom.